This is the axe head that you just saw in this animations. Well, it might look like it has hundreds of thousands of polygons, but in the viewport it looks like this. And it has only 178 polygons. But how? I have made two axe heads. The first one I let it remain low poly. I sculpted the second axe head which contains approximately 800,000 polygons. Uh, then I collected the detailed data from the second axe head and transferred it into the first one. Then I textured them in Substance Painter which we will talk about later. If you want to know how then let's dive in. Now as you can see in this scene we have two objects. One is the low poly version of the axe head and the other one is the sculpted high poly version of the axe head. Now we need to make sure that they are in the same position and if you don't know how I will show you. So place 3D cursor anywhere in your scene and let's right click anywhere and go to snap and select cursor to world origin and it will place our 3D cursor in the middle of our world and now let's select our both high poly and low poly objects and then right click again and go to snap and selection to cursor and now if there are any minor changes you can do that manually and also apply the scale for both of these objects or it will not work correctly and it is also important to check the direction of the normals so if you want to check that go to overlays and click this drop down and select face orientation and let's take a look at our low poly first so if you saw everything blue you are good to go but uh, somehow if you saw a red face so let's go to edit mode and let's say that you saw a red face so to fix that just select this red face and then press shift and to recalculate normals and it will fix the issue and same for our high poly also so i think everything is fine so we are good to go so now it's time to ue unwrap our low poly object so let's hide our high poly object and let's go to ue editing and if you have a very complex object on which you can't add seams so you can press a to select all and go to ue and smart ue project and I think it will work fine. But since we have a very low poly object, I manually added seams to the sharp edges and then press A, UV and unwrap. And if you don't know what is UV unwrapping, I recommend watching a tutorial on it. So now we have been through all the security checks. Now it's time to transfer the details. So let's go to shading tab. And now let's go to render settings and let's change the render engine from EV to cycles because baking only works in cycle. Now if you go all the way down you can see here this there is a bake tab so let's expand that and you can see that by default the bake type is set to combined. Now let's change the bake type from combined to normal. And at the start of the video I told you that I collected the detailed data and transferred that to our low poly object. The detailed data I was talking about is our normal map and normal map looks something like this. Uh, it mainly contains uh, purple and blue color which represent the angles of the edges I guess. So now let's unhide everything. So I will unhide my high poly object and let's go to solid view mode to take a look take a better look at it. Now let's select our low poly object and let's press shift D to duplicate it and right click to cancel position change. Now press tab to go to edit mode and press A to select all and press Alt S to scale along the normals and scale it until you cover everything. And I think we have almost covered everything. So, so if you see anything coming outside our scaled object, you can just select that face and just move it so that it will cover it. So I will select these faces and let's move them a bit upward okay so now i think everything is covered and we are good to go now let's select now let's select this object which we have just killed now and let's call it cage and i will explain in a minute what is it 
Now let's hide our cage and our high poly object and let's select our low poly object. Now let's add in an image texture in the node editor. So let's add a image texture and let's create a new image and I will call it as X head normals and and I will multiply the resolution by 2 so it will be a 2k image okay now let's hit okay now make sure that you have selected your low poly object and make sure that the image texture is selected and now let's go to back tab and under that check selected to active and let's expand that also and also check this cage option now let's select our high poly object first and then hold control and then select our low poly object and now let's select our cage object as our cage and then you can just hit bake and now it will start baking the normals of the high poly and transfer it to the low poly object uh, it could take several minutes depending on your system okay so now our normal map has baked and let's see how it looks and now if your normal map looks like this then you have done a damn good job but now how do we transfer the normal value to our low poly object well it's pretty simple let's move this texture down and let's add in a normal map node between our image texture and the principal bsdf now let's plug the color into the color and normal into the normal and now as you can see we have transferred our detail to our low poly x and congratulations now you can make very high quality animations very easily now some of you may be substance painter users so the procedure is all the same you just have to export the low poly version the high poly version and the cage and now let's open our low poly version and now let's go to texture set settings and go to bake mesh maps and let's uncheck everything for now let's just select our normals and you can see here high definition meshes so let's load in our high poly object here and let's check this use cage and let's load our cage file here so let's load in our cage x here and then select back selected texture and it will automatically do everything and now as you can see in substance painter also we have successfully transferred our details and now you are good to go with the texturing so that's pretty much it i hope you like the video if you do then consider subscribing to this channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye